What's up everybody? It's Jay with Amped on Info and today I wanted to come back and do a follow-up review on my weather station. This unit is made by Lacrosse Technology. In my original video I did the unboxing as well as the initial setup and my plan was to do a follow-up review approximately a week after everything was completely set up and functioning properly. However, it's been about three weeks, so I still wanted to come back and do this review and give you my opinion on what I think about this weather station, whether or not it's a good buy, whether or not it's kind of in between, and maybe just how my usage has been with it so far. So let's check it out. I'll show you what it should look like once everything is set up. So it took about four days for the barometric pressure to calibrate and now that the weather station has gone through a complete setup, I just wanted to take a second to show you a few things that you'll start to see on your screen. In your upper left hand corner you'll begin to notice that there's a temperature trend. Right now it's showing that we are having a fall in temperature. We've had some pretty cold days over the past week. Right now it's 31 degrees outside, 45 percent humidity right beneath that humidity number you'll also see a sliding scale dry good and humid outdoors right now is showing good in the center of the screen you'll see your daily forecast which it will indicate everything from cloudy skies partly sunny sunny skies rain snow thunder wind i think that's pretty nice that you can actually have a good breakdown like that and it be as interactive as it has been over the past few days especially when we've had rain right beneath that you'll see your time your day and your date to the right of that you'll see our indoor temperature which is 71 degrees i would surely think that's pretty accurate because we keep our house at about 72 degrees at all times so give or take a degree i will go with that uh 35 percent indoor humidity Beneath that number, you'll also see that sliding scale. Inside for us right now, it's between dry and good. So it's not too bad. I'll quickly flip through and show you a couple other features that you'll see on uh, the next screen. It'll show you a high temp readout. It'll show you the low temp readout. It'll show you the heat of the day. It'll also give you the dew point and then you're back to your main screen so pretty simple something that you can kind of gauge your day by I do feel it's pretty accurate and pretty neat okay now you've seen the full setup the display the layout once your calibration and everything is intact and everything is operating like it should it's a pretty nice unit. My opinion, I think it's a good purchase. Now, I will say, at my unboxing video, I did say that I wanted to use this particular unit to replace my alarm clock on my nightstand. Wasn't a good idea. The LCD is so bright, even at its lowest setting, I still found myself kind of turning it completely off. Uh, which really defeated the purpose. So what I've done is I actually moved it from my nightstand and put it in our foyer area on a foyer table and it's a perfect setup. Um, it has no obstructions. It is just a real nice fixture to have in the foyer. I mean everybody can take full advantage coming in and going out, taking a look at the weather, the time. So I think that was probably the best fit for it. Um, aside that, you may still see the caution arrows or these little triangles I should say and I actually have the alerts off. Um, my second thing about this particular weather station was I had the relative humidity high and low alerts set and one morning probably about 1.30 we were having a flute thunderstorm being that it's January and the alarm, the alerts just begin to blurt. And you jump up, you don't know what's going on. I reached for my phone thinking it was my phone. I didn't know if it was the alarm. 
um, the, the home alarm, and then I realized it was the weather station. However, it's a great function. It's just not one that I choose to use. Um, the relative humidity is gonna fluctuate constantly. We're having crazy weather right now, so I don't wanna have to go through jumping up, turning that off. Uh, same thing with the alarm, uh, clock alarm. I'm not using it, so that is not um, enabled. Other than that, this is a pretty cool little unit. It gives you a daily forecast, your time, your date, all the simple things that we all reach for our cell phones for. But to have something that is a fixture that you can just walk past and get a pretty quick glimpse of what's going on versus having to go in your pocket or your purse or whatever you may use to hold your phone. This is just pretty neat. Um, I think it's a great purchase. I would recommend it. Um, it's very easy to use, very easy to set up. Um, I still have the wireless monitor outside on our screen porch and it is just continually given pretty accurate readings. Um, again, having this now set up on our foyer table in a common area, it's just more, more opportunity for everybody to take advantage of it. So for me, two thumbs up, lacrosse technology, great product. Um, one thing that I chose to do, I started shooting this video last night. We were partly cloudy and had pretty cold temperatures. I wanted to finish it off today because I know our forecast was originally showing that we were due for rain come end of the week. And if you can tell, you can see in the forecast prompt in the center of the screen, it's predicting rain. I really wanted to see how accurate it would be I know it has been, but it was ideal to be able to show it in the video, uh, being that this is the follow-up review. So again, I don't feel that you'll really be making a bad purchase by any means to give this weather station a try. It has really been pretty dead on, give or take again, a couple degrees here and there. I baseline this off of storm radar off of my iPhone. I can't say again that that is always accurate or dead on, but I mean, bang for bang, this thing has really been pretty consistent. If you found this video to be helpful, hit the like button. If you want to be notified of any new videos, hit that bell icon. And if you've not subscribed to Amped on Info, please hit the subscribe button. Once again, thanks for taking time out to watch this video, being my follow-up review on this weather station. And as always, hope you have a great day. Peace.